Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seatbelts as we begin our descent. If you look out the right side of the plane, you can see we've arrived at our destination, New Richmond, Wisconsin. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. We're on the edge of the state for this episode, the Western Edge, not too far from the Twin Cities, and a short trip from the St. Croix River that borders the state. But don't worry, that's not where we're landing. We're touching down at New Richmond's own regional airport. Home to 200 aircrafts, this airport serves over 155,000 people in Western Wisconsin, as well as the East Metro area of Minneapolis and St. Paul. But aircrafts aren't the only thing you'll find in these hangars. The airport also rents these spaces out to local businesses, like Tyrannus, an agricultural data platform that uses high-tech drones like this one for aerial scouting to help farmers prevent crop loss. The work they do is pretty fascinating. You should check them out. These hangars can also be rented out for special events, and that's why we've flown in today. We're here for the Packer Tailgate Tour. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting Chris Crosey. The Green Bay Packers have stopped in New Richmond during their 14th annual tailgate tour, kicked off with a concert by Chris Crosey. Fans could meet Packers alumni Nick Barnett, Earl Dotson, Brian Grant, Bernardo Harris, Aaron Campman, Scott Wells, as well as President and CEO Mark Murphy, and come together to support a local nonprofit, the Grace Place Shelter. If you're looking to continue rolling out the barrels here in New Richmond, Champs Bar and Grill is the move. Locally owned with 42 beers on tap and the largest rooftop bar in Western Wisconsin, Champs is hard to miss here in the downtown. Plan your adventures in every corner of our state by streaming Discover Wisconsin anytime, anywhere. Next up, we head to another location for a quality beverage here in New Richmond. Although these drinks are a bit stronger than what they have on tap at Champs. We're back in New Richmond at the 45th Parallel Distillery. Thank you. Well, cheers, Paul. Well, cheers. This is an old fashioned. Hmm. Okay, so tell me what's in your old fashioned here. Our old fashioned, a little simple syrup, and then uh, two parts border bourbon, one part uh, orange cello. Orange cello is a, it's a liqueur, so it's sort of a simple syrup involved in there. Orange, a little slice, cherry, and uh, a little bit of soda, that's it. Nice, really tasty stuff here. Tell me about what you distill here at 45th Parallel. Well, we started distilling just clear spirits, vodka and gin. And then we were hired to make bourbon. And now 90% of our production is making whiskey. Lots and lots of whiskey. When 45th opened its doors in 2007, they were the second distillery in the state and one of only 50 craft distilleries in the US. They've continued to expand their operation and are now producing 25 full-size barrels a week. Who's running the operation here with you? It started out as a one-person shop. And uh, Scott, who brought us the drinks, he was really the first one on board. He used to, he was my roommate in college. So he worked for free for about three years, as I didn't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my father helped out, 
and uh, now my kids help uh, when they're not in school. Cool. And you're telling me this is a production facility here. You know, though we're at a beautiful bar, this isn't necessarily the, the heart of your operation. The heart of your operation is manufacturing spirits, not only for your brand, but also contracts. Can exactly. you tell us a little bit about that side of the business? Well, we, we did things a little bit dip, more difficult. Most craft distilleries are in high traffic areas where you have people come in and they, they try their stuff and they purchase it. We're not in one of those areas. It's a farming community. We don't rely on foot traffic, uh, so we, we make spirits for other companies. Other companies will call us up and say, hey, can you make this whiskey for us, or can you make this gin for us? And uh, so about half of our production is for other people. Nice. We're a grain facility. We're in a part of Wisconsin where there's a lot of grain, there's not a lot of fruit, so we use what we have. Well, tell me about your distilling philosophy. What, what sets you apart as far as the product and the process? We're more traditional. Uh, we don't take shortcuts. Uh, we follow traditional distilling practices. We use pot stills. Uh, we use standard aging techniques. We don't do any acceleration. Uh, slow distillation, slow filtration, uh, slow blending, and slow aging. Uh, there's nothing accelerated here. It's patience. Patience. Slowing things down and taking the time. No shortcuts. I think there's a valuable lesson to be learned here at 45th. You've, you've got a tasty spirit here. I, oh, I really I have enjoyed appreciate myself. That. Yeah. Well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Another great thing about the distillery, it's open all year round here in New Richmond, even during those frigid months. There's actually a lot going on during this season in this part of the state. In Somerset, there's one of the biggest displays of holiday lights I have ever seen. Sam's Christmas Village and Light Tour. But in downtown New Richmond, there's something drawing everyone to the main street. These Santas just made the sprint that kicks off the hometown holiday celebration. There are a lot of great events in our state just like this one. Head to discoverwisconsin.com to find more. Don't get off track, we'll be right back with more in New Richmond. If you're in the New Richmond area and you hear engines roaring in the distance, you're probably not far from Cedar Lake Speedway. Uh, my grandpa raced back in, uh, back in the day a long time ago, and then my dad raced as well, and then I kind of just followed up. Uh, uh, I've been racing since I was 16, I'm 37 now, so 21 years, and it takes up a lot of our summer, but it's a lot, of, it's kind of been in our blood for as long as I can remember, so it's, uh, it's kind of our pastime. They're here for the USA Nationals, racing to win $50,000. And in preparation, they built both of these dirt late models from the ground up.
We actually have two classes tonight we race. And this event here is kind of a big, uh, a big event for the Speedway here and, and the town. There's a lot of people that come from out of, out of state. Yeah, we have uh, my dad and, and my pit crew here are, you know, help me down, down here during the day. And uh, like I say, I grew up over by Green Bay, um, about three hours away. And then we probably have about 30 to 40 people camping in the campgrounds and, and different stuff. So it's, it's a very cool event for us. And you get to see a lot of those people we don't get to see all summer. So it's a, it's a good time. Our racetracks will slow down sometimes two to three seconds a lap. You could have holes develop in certain spots and they're cushion up on the top of the racetrack uh, through the through the night. So we have to seem like we chase our cars a little bit more for the speedway as far as the, the track conditions. So it makes it very interesting. And it'd be nice to win it. We've we've ran well here in the past. We were leading one year and broke a motor. Um, and we had a really good car then, and it's, the competition is so good uh, now. I mean, there's 45 to 50 cars here, and they're all capable of winning the race. It's really good pastime. It's, a, it's an awesome sport to be involved in, and uh, you'll see here later the amount of people that come out to support it. It's a pretty cool deal. It's a party here at Cedar Lake Speedway and in New Richmond all weekend long when these races come to town. But if you're trying to get away from the noise and slow things down a bit, Mike Deneen runs this small kayak rental shop you should totally check out. So I'm originally from Hudson. In this western Wisconsin, we have just a diverse amount of people and the kindest and the most nice people that you could ever meet anywhere in the country. And so I came back home when I was 31 and uh, so about three years ago, I started up the business. Willow River Kayaks came to be through, oh, through years of bringing friends out, and then you just start bringing more friends out. And after enough friends, then you just decided to start a business. When you travel, you become used to different cultures and experiences, so you get to have a wider perspective of life. You just become amazed by nature. So to bring nature into your life changes your ecological belief in how the systems run. So I've set up, it's a very easy river for um, basically beginners. So what we're gonna do here is we start at Betterly. We have two little, like little ripples that come down. And then basically it's an hour float down to a lake and then we paddle across the lake. Want to see our team in action from behind the camera? Follow Discover Wisconsin on Instagram for photos and more. Mike and I explore the upper Willow River path when we return. Welcome back to the Willow River here in New Richmond. So Willow River Kayaks provides a service to, um, to bring people into the Willow to experience nature in its purest form. The purest form is when you're, and you're in this little kayak vessel and you're in control of your own kayak and it's your actions that makes what happens. So you have to be responsible for your own actions when you're going down, even if it's just floating from left to right or if you're over paddling or this, so. People can just take their own time and it's not a rushed thing. So people can just go and relax and float as long as they want, stop and have a couple breaks. It brings a different 
pace of life to the modern world. Just to have people of any type of uh, physical abilities to be able to actually get into the water and experience you know, nature and to be solitude and peaceful and everything else. I have a teaching earth science major and a minor in chemistry and geology. So uh, with having a good base of what actually is out there, you get to experience and then it changes people's lives to, to the better. I'm telling you, the Willow River, I've never been on this stretch of the Willow before. The Willow is a really important river to me, but mostly the stretches down by Hudson. I've never been north of New Richmond, and uh, exploring upstream and seeing the lush vegetation and just a little bit of rapids. It was an exciting day, but it was also just a really peaceful, peaceful day. There was variety and diversity uh, all around. It was fantastic, and Mike was a really great guide. We started upstream of New Richmond, and it was about a two-hour float uh, down the way until you get to Mary Park Lake, which is where we're at right now. And there's a, uh, a boat launch right here that we were able to take our kayaks right to that and then walk directly to the art fair. This is what really marks the beginning of summer here in New Richmond. And after more than 50 years, the Park Art Fair is bigger than it's ever been. There's a wide variety of uh, vendors here at the Art Fair. All the way from like a teenage dude who's got a mini donut shack called uh, Holy Donuts. It was go. super tasty, gourmet donuts, all the way up to folks who've been coming here for over 30 years. We talked to Charlie, who's been uh, chainsaw carving and coming here for 23 years. And he came here from Cape Cod. I always love hearing those stories too, of folks who are from around the country, but who have found a home in Wisconsin. Today, we got to meet a bunch of them. You carved all these? I did them all, yeah. Fantastic. I've been doing it 24 years. My wife's done it 23. That's what I love about this job, exploring locations like near Richmond and meeting people that have come to find their passion in Wisconsin. Whether it's making quick mini donuts or slow distilling whiskey, there's an appreciation to be found no matter the pace. And there's a lot to appreciate here in New Richmond. So grab a paddle and head west. It's waiting for you. Stream Discover Wisconsin anywhere, anytime. Continue the adventure on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Roku, Smart TV, Chromecast, and discoverwisconsin.com.